fitness during the cautions during this thing down. I'm here with our chapter 7 that is factors and multiples. So when you understand factors and multiples, first we'll begin with a topic that is factor. So let's take one example to understand factor. Devi is having six points with her. She wants to arrange these points in such a way to maintain equal number of points in each column. So, she arranged the point like six points in six column, one row, which means six into one is equal to six. Next, she arranged three columns and two rows. 3 into 2, which is also equal to 6. Next, she arranged 2 columns and 3 rows, which is equal to 2 into 3, which is also equal to 6. Next, she arranged 1 column and 6 rows. Which means 1 into 6 is equal to 6. So here, after reaching all the points, she find out that 6 into 1 is also equal to 6, 3 into 2 is also equal to 6, 2 into 3 is also equal to 6, 1 into 6 is also equal to 6. So she thought of all these numbers when multiplied give the same result as 6. So, let's decide to divide these numbers by 6 and check the results. So, here, So here, 
Let's take any number. Suppose 12. Find out all the factors of 12. It means we have to check 12 comes in with which table. So here 1. In 2 stable 12 will be there. Of course. In 3 stable 12 will be there. Yes. In 4 stable 12 will be there. Yes. Then 5. 6. Yes. 7. No. 8. No. 9. No. 10. No. 11. No. 12. Yes. 12 ones times 12. It means 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These all were the factors of 12. Right. Here we will prove the property like 1 is a factor of every number. So here 1 which is a factor of 12. Now check for one more factor. That is 15's factor. So factor of 15 is 1. In 2 stable 15 will be there? No. In 3 stable? Yes. So 3 is a factor of 15. 5 is a factor of 15. 6? No. 7? No. 8? No. 9? No. 10? No. In 10 stable also 15 will be not there. 11? No. Then the last number is 15 itself. It means 1 is here also. 1 is here also. So it proves our first property. That is 1 is a factor of every number. Next property is every number is a factor of itself. So let's check for the same. 12 is here. 12 is here. 15 is here. 15 is here. It means every number is a factor of itself. Now we'll move to the third property. The third property is a factor of a number is greater than, is less than or equals to the number. A factor of a number is smaller or equals to that number. Next, one is the smallest number, one is the smallest factor of each number. One, or you can say that smallest factor of any number, any number is one. Next, greatest factor of any number is number itself. Greatest. of any number is number itself. Now let's check with one example. Here, find out the factor of 40. All the factors of 40. It may be 1, which is a factor of every number, which is our first property also. Then check for 2, yes, and 2 stable, 14 will be there. 3, no. 4, no. 5, no. 6, no. Then 7, 7 2 times 14. So 7 is a factor of 40. 8, no. 9, no. 10, no. Same for the 11, 12, and 13. So last number is 14. So see for that, with this example, see this, smallest factor of any number is 1. 1 is the smallest factor of any number. Greatest factor of any number is number itself. This is the last number. This is the last factor of any number. In this way, 
our property, important properties of factors are completed. Now we will move to the next topic that is the common factors and highest common factors. Common factors. 
factor of eight and twelve is one. Yeah. 